Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to get Photoshop for your iPad. This came out early on in 2020, where you could now run Photoshop on an iPad. Now this is separate than the Photoshop app on the desktop, it's actually a different app. It has a lot of the features though that the desktop has, but it's not identical. You can get both with the same membership, so you don't need a separate membership. So I really wanted to make this video to kind of walk you through the different types of memberships that Photoshop has for the tablet for the iPad here. And I have a free trial link in the description below. As I'm recording this, the trial link for the Photoshop version is actually 30 days, unlike the desktop one, which is only seven days. So if you wanna just test it out, click that link, get the 30 day free version, and then I'll show you some of the other things as far as signing up for Photoshop for iPad and some of the membership plans from Adobe. If you click the link below this video, it will bring you to this page here. And if you access it on an iPad, this is what it's gonna look like as well. So here you could read more about the Photoshop for iPad, but let me just show you if you click try for free, you could see the different individual plans here and there's some options for business and students, but basically the version that comes with iPad, it says Photoshop on desktop and iPad included here on the Photoshop version. You could also bundle it with Lightroom or you could get the Creative Cloud, which is 20 plus applications that you could get as a bundle. Now there is no version of Creative Cloud or Photoshop that you could get just for iPad. You have to get this bundle version that comes with desktop and iPad. So if you press click free trial now, you should get a seven day free trial on the desktop version, and then you should get a 30 day trial on the iPad version. So if you pay annually again, this is the price, but there is a drop down here where the monthly price is different, but the trial shouldn't charge you anything until you run out of the trial. So you can see the different versions here and sign up for the one that fits best. Then we're gonna go back out of here and let's go to the app store. And here you could go ahead and actually search for Adobe Photoshop and you'll see a bunch of different ones, but the one you want is the one that just says Adobe Photoshop, not the Express. This is the one that's actually part of the plan that we looked at. And if you go ahead and download and open it here, it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Adobe sign-in. So that's why I had you sign up first. So when you just press sign in here, it makes the process much easier. You don't actually have to press create an account here. You could actually just sign in with your username and email that you should have got when you sign up for the free trial on the website. And it should bring you right into Photoshop here. Let me exit here. And here's the home for Photoshop to create a new project. There's create new right on the bottom, press that. And you could choose a default size here or your custom size here, or choose some of these options for film and video or print. Let's go ahead and choose 1920 by 1080 here and press create. And this is going to work off the cloud now with your Adobe Creative membership here, where what you do on your iPad should show up on your desktop here. So you could just work in projects between the two different platforms. And if you're used to the desktop version, this is going to look a little bit different than that. And there's a tour here, I'm gonna go ahead and skip this, but your tools are still on the left side. So if you wanted to create shapes and different tools here, you'll still find these here. I could still choose different colors here. And there's a bunch of different options that are the same as the one that you're used to if you ever use the desktop version. But I'm gonna make a whole separate tutorial here to go in depth on how to use Photoshop on the iPad. So make sure you check out the channel for that when it's available. I'll also put that in the link below this video as well. One of my favorite options with the iPad version of Photoshop is the ability to press this camera, this photo icon here on the left side, get access to your camera on your iPad or access to your photos or even use the Adobe library here to access things for Photoshop. But it's really nice just to press the camera option, give it access and take a picture of something and start editing it on Photoshop right there. Something you can't do on the computer version of Photoshop. Now the next thing I'm getting is the pencil, the Apple pencil that comes for iPads and iPads Pro, the first and second generation pencil. It really helps you with Photoshop, especially if you use Photoshop to create or draw, the pencil really comes in handy, something you cannot do on the computer. So if you wanna check that out, I think I'll try to put a link in the description too for that below this video. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up. I post easy to follow Photoshop videos on this channel every single week and I hope to see you next time.